All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over that pro stick rhythm shooting so you could green bar that thing. Hey. You win. What to do, baby? What? Hey, yo, 2K, what is good? We are back with another video. If you clicked on the video, you know what it is. We're about to get into this new pro stick rhythm shooting and it's going down oh my gosh look at jordan let's go so before we get into it let me just introduce myself i am the man with the plan i am the host with the most i am biorada and this is biorada gaming welcome back to the channel fam back with another banger but but bang I did want to continue this segment of shouting out the latest comments that have been supporting the channel right about now. So before we get into the nitty gritty, I got some tips when starting out to make it an easier transition for y'all when y'all are trying to get the green bar for this new rhythm shooting because it's very new. Not a lot of people are trying it, but those that are, are unlocking some green beans. So first things first, I want you to make sure you know what your player's jumper is, meaning you know when the release is. Slightly late, so we let go a little early. Bang, okay, so you have to adapt. You gotta know your player's jump shot. I cannot stress that enough. Don't act like you just hop on the court and start rhythm shooting. You wanna learn the speed of the jump shot. It's called rhythm shooting for a reason. They want you to use the player's actual rhythm for the jump shot and use it instead of pressing the button, they want you to use it with the right joystick. Mellows is pretty smooth, but it's not fast. He loads it up, jumps pretty nope. high, and then lets nope. go, it looks like, at the forehead. Yep. The rhythm shooting, you're using the R3, the right stick on your PS5. If you're using Xbox or anything like that, it's the right analog, okay? The right analog stick. Now we're gonna get into the dynamics of rhythm shooting. Just like how the player loads up the jump shot like this, he's loading it up, that's me pressing down. And then once the ball comes out of the fingertips is when I'm pressing up. So right here essentially is when I'm pressing up. So down on the joystick when he's loading the ball up and you press up when he's about to let go of that thing, okay? So down when the ball is loading up, up when he's about to release the ball and let go of up. And this is the equivalent of letting go of the shoot button. So you let go of up when you're letting go of the shoot button, okay? When the two arrows line up. So let's try it again, down, up. See, slightly fast. You gotta set your feedback so you can read. That's perfect. Bingo, see, I already knew. So you gotta set your feedback so you can read the tempo. On the, on the right there, you can see it in the shows your tempo. So that's my next tip. The joystick manipulation of down and up is key, and the other factor is the speed. It's called rhythm shooting for a reason. You gotta have some good rhythm. Don't speed up through it, don't do it too slow. You gotta perfect it, and 2K will reward you with greens. So with that being said, you gotta sync the analog stick with your animation. If the feedback says it's too early, that means that you're pressing up too fast. You're pressing up way too early. You gotta press down, and then once he's about to release, you press up and let go, okay? If it says early, that means you're doing it too fast. If it says late, that means once the ball is already loaded and is ready to shoot it, you're too late. You're not pressing it fast enough. So you gotta read that shot feedback meter with not just the release, but also the tempo. And the other thing, when you press down and go up, you gotta be smooth. Just think smooth and it'll be easier for you when you shoot the rock when it comes to doing it too early or too late. You wanna do down and up, smooth. And that's what gives you the boost. 
you got to release it at the right tempo. Therefore, you got to think smooth and you guys will be good. All right, so with that being said, that is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you did, comment Rhythm Shooter, and I will know you guys watched the whole video. And I appreciate y'all for that, okay? So with that being said, until the next video, show some love. Now go play some 2K, shoot your shot, and get the W. Hey.